We are here at the Venezuelan Embassy in Buenos Aires after President Mauricio Macri prevented a flight with 90 Venezuelan migrants passengers from leaving Argentina. This flight was part of the Return to the Homeland Plan, implemented by the Bolivarian government. We are being joined by Venezuela's charge d'affaires, Juan José Valero, to talk more about this. Several families are now stranded here and don't know what to do. They had high expectations of going back to the country, and this hasn't been the case. We are very worried about the government of Argentina refusing the permits to allow a Venezuelan flight to operate in its country. This flight has the character of humanitarian help under the Back to the Homeland plan. This would have been our fourth flight looking to take Venezuelan migrants back to their country, and the first this year. It was aiming to take back 90 people. 300 people have already benefited from this program in the past. The decision taken by the government of Argentina is directly affecting the human rights promoted by the Back to the Homeland plan. We are calling on the Argentine authorities to reconsider their decision and to consider the project's humanitarian character and to allow the flight to operate. We are also calling on all those who are hoping to return to keep their faith and hopes up. What reasons are Argentina's government giving for not allowing this flight to operate. I haven't received any official communication, but I was told that the permit wasn't approved on the phone. I asked this to be put in writing, but that hasn't happened. I've been calling non-stop, but the answer has been the same. They haven't given us any reason as to why the permit was denied. The flight was supposed to arrive in Argentina earlier today, but couldn't leave Venezuela, as we didn't have the necessary permits for the flight to operate. Past flights have been allowed without any problem, and that's why we're worried. We don't know what the motives are for not allowing this flight to operate right now. What are the needs of the 90 people that are waiting? A lot of these people have been living in temporary shelters. Others already left their homes here and have nowhere to go. When we told them the flight wasn't coming, they were visibly affected. But we're trying to do everything possible to keep our commitment and help them return home.